Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. You're just in time for today's talk on the Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus is a carnivorous theropod dinosaur dating from the early Jurassic period, about 193 million years ago. It's famous for appearing in the film Jurassic Park, but the way that the film, and also Ark Survival Evolved here, depicts the dinosaur isn't completely accurate. The neck frill and the ability to spit venom is purely creative license, and there is no evidence for either in the fossil record. Also, in Jurassic Park, director Steven Spielberg made the dinosaur much smaller so it wouldn't be confused with the Velociraptor, which by the way was much bigger than it should have been. Dilophosaurus was actually one of the largest carnivores of the time at about 6 to 7 meters long and may have weighed as much as 400 kilograms. One thing the film did get right were the two distinctive crests on top of the dino's head. Indeed, the name Dilophosaurus means two crested lizard. These crests were probably used for display and could have been brightly coloured. They also could have served a purpose in intraspecies recognition, allowing individuals to be recognised by other members of the species. This would have been useful if the dialo lived in packs, and there is some evidence for this as some fossils have been found together. The first Dilophosaurus fossils were found by Sam Wells in 1942 in Arizona. Two specimens were recovered, and they were originally thought to be from the species Megalosaurus. But in 1964, Wells found another specimen from the same area. This one had preserved the two head crests, and Wells realised that it was a different species, and in 1970 they were reclassified as Dilophosaurus. The skull of the Dilo shows an interesting feature. There is a large notch in the upper jaw which could indicate that Dilophosaurus had a weak bite. This could mean that it was a scavenger for the most part, tearing meat off carrion. Or perhaps it just made more use of its claws to make kills. It seems likely that like most predators, it would have killed when able, and also should the opportunity arise, it would have fed on carrion. In Arizona, there are many fossilised footprints attributed to the Dilophosaurus. In one case, there has been observed unusual impressions alongside the footprints. These impressions are of a dinosaur sitting imprint, made as the dinosaur rests on the ground. At first, it was thought that these impressions showed imprints of feathers, indicating that the Dilophosaurus was a feathered dinosaur, but these have since been dismissed as cracks in the mud. And while it is possible that the Dilo had feathers, there is currently no evidence to support this. Well, that concludes our talk on the Dilophosaurus. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've learned something today. The biggest surprise for me was learning how big the Dilo actually was. If you like this video, please don't forget to let me know by hitting that like button and please share this video with anyone you think might be interested. If you're new, please consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.